Hi, I'm Allison from a small village in France. Please like and subscribe. I lived in a small cottage with my single mother who worked as an artist. Life was tough since we had little money. So when I turned five, mom decided to move back to her home city and it had a freaking palace. Whoa, is that a real palace, mommy? I wanna see what it looks like from the inside. I wanna meet the king. The king doesn't live there, Ali. Only his sister, the Duchess, does. And only those who work in the palace can go there. Soon after, mom got a job as a royal portrait artist, and I would beg her to take me along someday. But she always said I was too clumsy, and the palace was full of delicate things. I'll be careful, I promise. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's also a ghost who has lived in this palace for decades. Was the ghost there when you were a kid? Yep. Then it must be old by now. I can easily outrun it. Of course, I didn't believe her. If anything, it made me more curious about the palace. When I was nine, mom was called by the Duchess to make her portrait, and this time, I followed her. Somehow, I managed to sneak inside without getting noticed. And boy, was it pretty. As I wandered around, I slipped into a nearby room full of toys and blingy things. I'd never seen anything like that before. And it was so fascinating that I grabbed a few of them. But when I reached home, I felt guilty and scared. If anyone at the palace found out, mom could lose her job. And this was stealing. I'll bring you guys back someday when I work at the palace. Till then, you can hide here. My passion for working in the palace grew stronger as time passed. I begged mom to teach me how to paint so I could become a royal painter just like her. And by the time I was 17, I was better than her. One day while I was painting, mom came home with some big news. The king is coming to town after 17 years, and they want paintings for the whole palace. We started working day and night, finishing all 20 paintings in under a week. But a day before the delivery, mom slipped and sprained her ankle. I'll ask someone from the palace to pick them up. No, I can take them. I promise, I won't break a thing. Whoa! Are you sure? We can't lose the job. Yes, mom, you can count on me. I managed to convince mom and then left for the palace. I also took the stuff I'd taken all those years back. I could finally put that back. When I entered the palace, it was exactly as I'd remembered. Wow, how dull. This place could really use some color. I was so lost looking around that I tripped over a giant statue's foot and the paintings flew in the air. Just then I heard someone scream and when I looked back and saw a girl, I almost passed out. It was like I was looking in a mirror. I touched her to make sure she was real and she slapped my hand away. Don't you touch me, you peasant. Don't you know who I am? Um, my doppelganger? We look exactly the same. No, we don't. I'm a princess and you look like a street rat. If I look like a street rat, so do you because we have the same face. Wait a minute, is that gold? Oh my God, you're a thief. The girl started screaming again and I was surrounded by palace security within seconds. Just as they held me, I bit one of the guards and ran till I reached home. When I told mom what had happened, she looked at me in shock and minutes later, the king arrived with the duchess. Oh, my sweet daughter, it is you. You're what? Mom, what's happening? My mind went blank when the king told me how years ago, the nanny had taken me out for a walk, but we both never returned. Your mother and I searched everywhere for you, but we failed. She was heartbroken and no longer wanted to be here. So we left the palace. But today, when the security guards told me of an intruder who looks just like the princess, I just had to come and see for myself. Mom, is that true? I'm not your daughter? It, it's true, Allie. I found you on my doorstep with a note and some money, but I had no idea you were a princess. Why didn't you ever tell me I'm not yours? Because I fell in love with you the moment I saw you. Now you were my daughter. I am so sorry, Allie. It was just all too much to process and I ran off. I was a princess and I had a twin sister. I was living a lie for 17 years? I was walking along the road trying to clear my head when a big sports car pulled up next to me and a handsome guy got out. Cherry, what are you doing here? It's not safe. Cherry, do I look like a stupid fruit? Leave me alone. I called you pumpkin before, but you hated that too. What the heck's your problem, dude? This is not a good time. I was saving this as a surprise, but here, 
Will this make you come with me? Holy moly! That diamond was bigger than my fist! Calm down, Allie. Okay, you've got the wrong girl. Whoa! Sorry, I'll have to carry you back home if you don't listen. I punched him in the nose as the guy screamed like a little boy and then ran for my life. This was officially the worst day ever. The next day, the royal staff packed all my stuff and I was moved to the castle. My royal chambers were bigger than my whole house. And everything was beautiful, except it didn't feel like home. Mom wasn't there, and even though I was mad at her, I missed her. I was unpacking when my sister walked in. I know you think you're suddenly a princess now too, but don't let this get to your head. Remember, I rule. Charlotte, dear, don't be so rude to your sister. You should be happy she's back. Okay, Amber. Allison. Allison, darling. We're starting with your royal lessons from tomorrow. Be ready at 4 a.m. sharp. Good luck with that. It's not easy being a princess. She wasn't kidding. It was a mad schedule. Mornings were for horse riding, then music in the afternoon, and martial arts in the evening. My body was super sore and I was exhausted. But within a few weeks, I'd grown tougher and learned a lot. One evening during martial arts practice, someone walked up to me. It was the diamond guy. I thought they were just rumors, but you are prettier than Charlotte. We look exactly the same, like identical. Can't you see that or did the punch make you blind? Feisty. I'm Prince Arnold, by the way, Charlotte's fiance. Isn't she too young to get married? Are you jealous? What? Move along, dude, unless you want another punch. But the guy just winked and left. What a flirt. Later that evening at dinner, dad announced that he'd be holding an official coming out party for his daughters and the entire village would be invited. What's a coming out party? Ugh, lame question. It's your official introduction. So why are you having one? Don't people know you already? That's when dad told me that Charlotte had always been sick all her life. She had a rare genetic heart condition that didn't allow her to roam around too much. It was only recently that she'd gotten better. But I'm still better than you. What's your problem? My problem is that you're here to take my crown away from me, and I won't let that happen. Enough. That's for me to decide. Now eat your dinner. I'd root for you. I kicked that butt face under the table, and he turned red. Much deserved. The coming out party had sent the whole town into a frenzy, and mom was called to make our official portraits. Seeing her made me feel so much better. So, how do I look? Like a princess. Have you forgiven me? Maybe. I mean, you're still my mom. Of course I am. The party was a huge success, and I could see the king's pride in introducing his daughters. You should see Alison fight. She's a natural. Her paintings are so good. I think I should send her to Paris to become a professional. Dad, I wanted to become a chef and you didn't allow that. That's because you weren't well, Charlotte. Now, don't interrupt me while I'm talking, darling. I was a little embarrassed with all the praise and it clearly bothered Charlotte. So I excused myself and went out for some fresh air, only to find that jerk Arnold making out with a maid. What the heck, dude? Oh, hey, Allie. Don't worry, this isn't serious. And you're next. I felt furious and turned around to leave, but he blocked me. Oh, don't be so mad. Come here. Arnold pulled me in and was about to kiss me when I pushed him hard. But Charlotte walked in just then. What's happening? Wait, I knew it wasn't you. My darling Charlotte, this imposter tried to take advantage of me. She tried to kiss me while pretending to be you. What? That's not true. This guy's been flirting with me ever since I came here. Charlotte, he's a jerk. I just caught him making out with a maid. Enough. First, you try to steal my life, then my dad, and now you have your eyes on my fiancé? I won't let you get away with it. With that, Charlotte went inside and got on stage as everyone stared at her in confusion. Attention! My twin sister is a manipulative witch. She's a thief and a liar, and so is her mom, that lady. Tell me, Allison, did she teach you how to be a lowlife? Because you surely weren't born one. Say what you want about me, but keep my mom out of it. I feel sorry for you, Charlotte. How could you be so bitter? It's so... Before I could finish, Charlotte jumped on me and we got into a crazy fight. As the king pulled us apart, Charlotte started shaking and fell to the ground. We rushed her to the hospital and the doctors informed us that she had fainted because of stress and needed rest. I wanted to visit her, but the Duchess stopped me. 
I think it's best that you stay away. You've done enough damage. Brother, she's not good for Charlotte's health. We might not get along, but she's my sister. She's right, Allison. I think it's best if you give each other some space. Maybe you can stay with your mom for some time. It will only be temporary, love, and I'll have you back as soon as possible. I think we dumped too much on Charlotte, and she needs to get better. Of course, I understood, but I was actually happy to get away from everything for a while, especially since Charlotte and I were on the front page of every newspaper the next day. People called us the crazy royals. We were a joke. I was packing my stuff when the Duchess walked in. Hmm, you're finally going back to where you belong. I knew you'd never fit in here, and it was a mistake to bring filth into the palace. I know I didn't grow up here, but I'm still a princess by birth. So please, mind your manners and never talk to me this way again. Don't forget your place. That's exactly what I'm doing. I pushed her aside and left for my old home. Mom was ecstatic to see me, and to be honest, I felt happier than I'd been in weeks. A few days later, once Charlotte was better, the king announced her engagement to Arnold to give people something else to talk about. Dad invited me, but I decided not to go to the ceremony. I just wanted to stay away and avoid any more drama. On the engagement day, Mom had gone out for something when Charlotte came over. What are you doing here? Don't you have an engagement to get to? I can't marry him, Allison. He's a snake. I should have trusted you. Good time to say I told you so. But what do you want from me? After our fight, we can't have another media blowout. Dad will never allow me to call off the engagement at the last minute. Please, come with me. Maybe we could convince him together. Please help me. Charlotte was crying like a baby now, and I didn't want her to have another fainting episode. So I agreed. But just as we entered the palace, Charlotte stopped. I need to fix my makeup. The entire town is in there. Wow, priorities. Thanks for doing this. I'll be right back. I started to walk around when I spotted Charlotte. She's here. I've done everything you asked me to do, including the fake fainting. Now do your part and make her leave forever before Dad decides to bring her back here again. Leave it to me now, princess. I have the perfect plan to make sure you get the crown. Oh my god, these people were crazy. I had no idea what her plan was, but it sounded dangerous. So I ran straight to Dad, and seconds later Charlotte followed. Allison, I thought you weren't coming, but I'm so glad you did. Of course she had to come. She had to ruin my engagement. She just can't see me happy. Oh my god, Arnold, hold me please. Oh, shut up already. Don't you guys get tired of manipulating? King, dad, whatever, you should see this. I played the video for the entire hall to see, and Charlotte turned pale. Charlotte? Dad, I'm sorry, but you seem to like her more because she's tougher than me. And when Auntie told me that she was after Arnold and my crown, I couldn't take it anymore. But this was all Aunt's idea. Sister, what were you planning to do and why? Suddenly, the Duchess turned into a mad person and started screaming. I'm tired of being your servant. I'm the older sister and the crown was mine. But these girls took that away from me. And I would have gotten away with everything if this one hadn't shown up. What do you mean? You knew she was alive? Whoopsie. You did a boo-boo. The Duchess confessed how she'd paid the nanny to take me away and drop me in the jungle. But the nanny had dropped me at Mom's doorstep instead. Charlotte was so sick as a kid, I didn't think she'd survive for so long. With both of you gone, I'd be a queen, but... But Karma's a witch. The king gave orders to take the Duchess away to the dungeons for treason, and Charlotte turned to me. I was horrible to you, and I probably don't deserve your forgiveness. But could you try? It might take some time, but I'll get there. What about me? You can chew your shoes and get lost. Yeah, I always knew you were a jerk. I was called back to the palace, and I took Mom along this time. Charlotte and I changed history by taking over the crown together. We were both queens in our own way and I learned that those who love you will always stick by your side. 